Good morning. Today is March 8th, 2013, and this is the National Weather Service in Grand Junction, Colorado, with your weather briefing for today. We're going to be discussing the next winter storm that's going to be impacting the area starting this morning and lasting through Saturday night. And as you can see on the map, these are the current highlights in effect. We have winter storm warnings for most of the mountain areas, with the exception of the northern mountains which have winter weather advisories. And winter weather advisories for the Northwest Colorado Valleys, Southwest Colorado Valleys, and portions of the Central Colorado Valleys. For the winter storm warnings in effect for the Southwest San Juan Mountains, the LaSalle's and Abajo Mountains, storm total snowfall ranging from 10 to 20 inches of snow. For most of the Western Colorado Mountains, and eastern Utah mountains that have winter storm warnings in effect. As you could see from this graphic, we can expect anywhere from 8 to 16 inches of snow. And then for the Gore and Elk Mountains and Flat Top Mountains, also 8 to 16 inches. Um, and those ones start at 6 p.m. today through midnight Saturday night, all of them lasting through midnight Saturday night. For the winter weather advisories in effect for the mountains, the extreme northern Colorado and Eastern Utah Mountains, the Elkhead and Park Mountains, and the Eastern Uinta Mountains. We can expect anywhere from 4 to 8 inches in the Elkhead and Park Mountains with up to 12 inches north of Clark, and the Eastern Uinta Mountains 6 to 12 inches with higher amounts along north facing slopes. For the winter weather advisories in effect for the valleys, the Northwest Colorado Valleys including Craig, Meeker, and Steamboat Springs, also the Gunnison Basin and I-70 corridor from Glenwood Springs to Avon, and the Southwest Colorado Valleys including Cortez, Durango, and Pagosa Springs. We can expect anywhere from 2 to 4 inches, with locally higher amounts, um, mainly along the foothills of the Southwest Colorado Valleys also. The following graphic are the forecasted maximum temperatures this afternoon, and as you can see it will be fairly mild out ahead of this system. Um, temperatures in the central and southern valleys generally ranging in the 50s with highs in the 40s for the northern valleys and 30s for the mountains, but that will all change as temperatures get colder with the cold front that is expected to move through tonight. The following is a water vapor image as of 3 a.m. this morning. And as you can see, the low is currently positioned off the Southern California coast and is expected to move inland this morning, then track over the Las Vegas area by 5 p.m. this evening, across the Four Corners region by 5 a.m. Saturday morning, and then off onto the plains by Saturday evening into Sunday morning. As moisture increases in the mild southwest flow out ahead of this system, snow levels are expected to be about 8,000 feet with rain occurring in most valleys and snow starting above 8,000 feet in the southern mountains, then increasing in intensity and spreading northward across the central mountains later this afternoon into the evening. As the low tracks over the Four Corners region, a cold front is expected to move through overnight tonight through tomorrow morning, which will help to lower the snow levels down to valley floors by after midnight tonight which will cause some of the rain in the valleys to change over the snow and <clears throat> there also is a slight chance that there might be an isolated embedded thunderstorm sometime this afternoon in that mild southwest flood ahead of the system. As the low moves further into across Colorado the flow will shift around to the northwest and north in fact affecting the north facing slopes with snow occurring over the northern valleys as well. And then snow should start to wind down by Saturday evening and taper off by Sunday morning as the low exits onto the plains. As far as impacts go with this system, the winds are going to cause areas of blowing and drifting snow through most of the mountain areas with, during the duration of the storm. Winds initially will start off from the southwest at 10 to 20 miles an hour, gusting to 30 miles an hour today. 
and then becoming northwest 15 to 25 miles an hour, gust of 35 to 45 miles an hour on Saturday. Snow levels, as I said earlier, will start 7,500 to 8,000 feet, lowering the valley floors after midnight tonight. You can expect some slushy roadways, initially slick, icy, and snow-packed, especially over the high mountain passes tonight. So expect travel delays and restrictions through those areas, and you can follow the latest uh, travel road conditions and travel information by dialing 511 across Utah or Colorado, or you can visit the Colorado Department of Transportation website at www.cotrip.org or the Utah Department of Transportation at commuterlink.utah.gov. And you can also follow us on Facebook or Twitter or our YouTube channel. And feel free to send in your reports to our Facebook Twitter feeds or give us a call or send us an email. We would love to hear from you and let, let us know how much snowfall you've received during the duration of the storm. <clears throat> And you can also listen to NOAA Weather Radio or local media outlets for the most recent updates to this winter storm, or visit the National Weather Service Grand Junction website at www.weather.gov GJT for other critical information. Once again, this has been a weather briefing for the storm impacting the area from March 8th through March 9th. Thank you and have a good day.